What's happening guys? So in this video this evening, we're gonna break down exactly how average men become top tier. And I hate to break it to you guys, but every single person alive was once average. One single person alive was once a tiny baby that come out of the womb. So it's not about where you start, it's about where you finish. Whoever you are right now, wherever you currently stand, that is not the final destination. It just is what it is right now. But anyways, going from average <clears throat> to top tier, it all starts in your mind. It all starts with an awakening. It all starts with an awakening about the world, about life, about how the world really works how money's actually made an awakening about women for men because a lot of men believe in the wrong things about women for such a long time which leads them to no success so it's awake it's an awakening about the world is how average men can become top tier once you go through these awakenings you start to see okay this is how it is. This is how it works. This is, this is it. You start to realize as a man, not a single damn person actually gives a damn about you, bro. And that, like, all of us men know this deep down in our cores. Women think otherwise, but it's just the truth. Nobody actually gives a damn about us. And even if they do, they just give a damn about what we can do for them. It's not actually us. They just care about what, what we can do for them. And uh, it's just how women are created. They can act like it's not that way. But it's that way. That's also an awakening about this world. Um, as a man goes through this, he starts to not give a single sweet flying. He starts to move in his true nature. He starts to move not in a hesitant way, not in a like in a way to make people like him. Oh, I have to act this way so it's like this. I went through stuff in the past, bro, that completely woke me up. And I was just kind of being the nicer guy that was floating around. Just be nice. Just be nice to your friends. Be good to your friends. Make your girl happy. Do all these things. And you don't move like a savage. You move how everybody else would like you to move in favor of them. And you know what that does? You lose your self. You lose yourself. You become somebody that you're not to please everybody else. And you get left with nothing. You know what happens when you focus on yourself? You build yourself up. You become that dude. You have your pick of the litter. You'll build a successful life. You'll have the people in your life that you want. You're a reliable man. You have it all together. You have all the things together that you know that, that you want. Everything's just lining up and it's because you went through those times. You went through that awakening. You were told the truth. Now, there's the odd lucky men in the world that might understand these things from a young age. And it's for the simple fact they probably had the picture perfect upbringing and everything else. And it's rare. Most people have to learn some tough lessons. Even some of those people have to learn some tough lessons. No one has it that damn easy. Everyone's going to have to go through a little bit of turmoil and it's about figuring it out. But 
for a lot of men, we're completely lied to at such a young age. We're told to do everything that ends up being the wrong things that bites us in the ass. So once you see it for yourself, once you go through experiences yourself and you fully wake up, you, you, you go through this awakening, it's like, I see. Okay. I see how it is. Very good. I know what to do because I just saw the truth. I cannot unsee it. I see it. And now I know what to do. No one can tell me otherwise because I just can see it. Oh no, it's not that way. Da, 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 da. It is that way. And I just can see it. And you're probably mad that I've seen it. I find it funny because a lot of people in the past got upset because I started to move in life like a savage. Oh, you're changing. Oh, yeah, I am changing. That's very good. I am changing. And I'm not going to stay back and be soft to make you happy. Not going to happen. They would just love that. They would just love that for you, wouldn't they? To be able to step all over you. They would love it. The same people who's trying to talk you out of changing would step all over you because they want to be better than you. But you're going to go on in life. You're going to do the work and, you know, you're just going to be another person that makes all them jealous and envious because they're not you. And it's not about you competing with them. You competed with yourself to become better. They have not. Now they're mad at you for being better than them. And the simple fact is, you just did you better than they did them. Top to your man. That is what you become. Those are the results you get because of the work you've done. That is how it's done. It's about going through the awakenings. It's about getting screwed over. That's what it's about. This is, what all, this is what all men must go through in order to go from average to top tier. And it's up to you if you want to take all that turmoil and all those wrongdoings and use that as motivation to become better than you've ever been in your entire life. It is up to yourself how you move because once you experience certain things, the crazy thing is, bro, some men experience it and they just, they don't do nothing to change. They just kind of stay how they are. They, they don't push themselves to change. And every single dude that pushes himself to change and does change gets the girls, gets the success, gets the money, gets the notoriety, gets the respect. Because you did what you should have done. You can't listen to nobody, bro. You can't listen to nobody. Because when you start to level up, when you start to do what's right, whenever you start to improve your life, everyone's going to try to tell you this and that. Just look at them. What are they again? I wouldn't listen to a damn person, bro. Are you ahead of me in life? Are you doing better than me in life? You think I'm going to listen to you? You think I'm actually going to listen to you as if you're right and I'm wrong? <laughs> Uh, uh, fuck no. Who are you again? Yeah. Very good. I don't know who you are. Nobody. But anyways, you guys can't let none of these clowns, bro, disrespect you. Go, Keep going. Go on and do your thing. Humbly. You're just going to do your work. You're going to be humble. You're going to do your work. All these people's going to have something to say, boy. The haters are going to come out of the woodworks. They're going to try to shit on your life. They can go ahead. They ain't you. They'll never be you. They'll never reach the heights that you've reached because you have humbled yourself. You have saw the truth. You have done the work. You have went through the storms. You showed resiliency. You showed your mental toughness and fortitude. And guess what? Because of it, you get the result. Because of it, the dog gets the bone. Throw me a bone. Because I'm going to go get it. <sighs> this is...
This is how it's done, bro. You guys want to go from average to top tier? Y'all got to get serious about shit. Y'all got to get serious about your life. They would just love you to not be serious. They would just love you to lay down so you could be their doormat. They would love it to be able to step all over you. But you ain't to be stepped on. You're a man of value. You're a man of respect. And you're not going to let nobody disrespect you. They're, they're going to get wiped out. Wiped the fuck out. Because you were not pissing around. Everyone's going to try to tell you this and that. Everyone's going to try to tell you who to be. Look at them. Are they above you? Are they doing better than you? No, they're not. If someone's better than you, then you can listen, okay? Then you can take that on. But if they're not, who are you again? That's all you guys have to view it as. Because that is the fucking truth. And it's funny, because if you say that to those people, they'll get all pissy. They'll get all pissy. They might even block you. They, they'll, they'll get seriously mad. And that's on them. The only reason they get that upset is because they know that's the truth. They wouldn't get that upset if they did not know that that was the truth. They wouldn't get that upset. They get that upset because they know that is the truth. They just can't stop you. The way people could in the past, bro. The way people could walk on you. The way people could disrespect you. That's the type of stuff I went through. And it's not like it was like that all the time. It's not like I was just this doormat for people instantly because I never tolerated disrespect. It's that I got manipulated into being disrespected many times over. And I continued to let it happen, not even knowing it was happening. But it was happening. And I got manipulated into being disrespected. Never going to happen again. It's, it's just never going to happen again. It's not. Those idiots, man, can go on in their lives and completely get up. All they want. One thing is for sure, you're not. You're not going to do that. You're going to go on in life and live the life you're supposed to live with the people you're supposed to live it with and live a great life. All the others can do whatever they want. They can say whatever they want about you. They can have whatever opinion they want about you. They can do all that stuff. It's none of it's true. None of it is true. One to one, they ain't got nothing on you. You could crush them like a can. They can say whatever they need to say. They can tell other people whatever they need to tell them to convince themselves of whatever they want about you. They can do all that stupid, stupid, stupid shit. None of it is true. They have to tell themselves those things to make themselves feel better. That's all it is. It's haters. It's delusional people. In denial. They don't actually know what's going on. They just hate that you're becoming who you are. They just hate that you are who you are. They would have loved for you to be average. They would have loved for you to not be who you've become. Because you make them feel smaller because you have grown bigger. Your building is bigger than their little small building. That's why they look up and they don't like you because you're big. And they're small. It's not your fault. You didn't get bigger to minimize them. You didn't get bigger to make them feel smaller. You got bigger because you're fucking tired of the disrespect. Every man has his day, bro. Every man has his day. I had my day. This shit ain't never going to happen again. Watch this. You stand on business as a man. That. We go from average to top tier through the sheer will and determination, the work and the sacrifices. And I have never once even viewed myself as an average man. I might have had average results at one point in time, but I never viewed myself as no average good man. Because I knew what I had inside of myself. I've never even felt average. I was kind of always doing above average things. And I just never felt that way. I've never viewed myself that way. 
And it took for me to do so much for so many people, so many good things, to get disrespected in return. Okay, I see how it is. I don't need that in my life, but watch what I go on and do with my life. What happens? You get stupid ass people coming back. And you reject them. Why? Because they are simply unworthy of you. They don't deserve you. They don't. And it's not because they're lesser than you. It's not because you become this God Almighty human. It's because they disrespect you and they don't deserve you because of the disrespect. And that's why I only have particular types of friends who are respectful. Because if you want to be disrespectful, that is your choice. I'm not going to disrespect you. I don't care how big, how small you are. I don't care. I'm not going to disrespect you. But if you want to disrespect me, very well. That is your choice. You will see what happens next. And a lot of those fools ain't going to like what happens next. They can laugh about it right now. He, he, ha, ha, all they want. Wait six months down the line. Wait one more year down the line. Wait three years down the line. And watch them be left in a pool of their own tears crying. Because they can't find nobody like you. They understand your value now. They understand your worth now. They're looking around scared because they don't know what to do without you. You should have thought of that before, before you disrespected. But you did. Time and time and time and time again, you did. And fellas, that is the motivation you have to take from your past. And move, move forward in your life. It's not about being angry and wild and chaotic. It's just that you take that energy of disrespect and you channel it into the right areas of your life. You allow it to keep you focused. You allow it to keep you in line. You allow it to put you in the right places. You use that as a superpower and you dominate on this earth because you're a warrior and you choose not to go down you choose not to be some doormat because you're not I can't even help personally the way I am I can't even help it bro I know who I am inside and if people want to get that way towards me you're in over your fucking head because you're going to see what you have awakened you want to challenge me like that you want to disrespect me like that you have awoken something you don't, didn't even know existed that's the type of shit bro that needs to come out of you. That's the type of shit that needs to happen. And every single person that's ever done you dirty like that, bro, they're going to be... <laughs> they're, they're, they're not going to be in a good place when it's all said and done. You will be, though. Because you've done the work. You did what you had to do. They haven't. And they'll continue to be haters. They'll continue to be jealous, envious people. And you're going to continue to do the work in the, in the ways that you should. And doing the work and, and, and stuff, that, that is being humble. When you're doing the work, when you're making the right moves, when you just ground yourself and do the work and shut up. That is being humble. And guess what? We're respectful towards everyone that's respectful to us. We don't go around disrespecting people, but do not cross us the wrong way. Do not do that. Don't. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is how you become a top tier man. A lot of it is through trial and tribulations. A lot of it is through past experiences that, that caused a lot of pain. And it's up to you how you take that. It's up to you what you do with the pain that you've went through. Are you going to sit around and cry about it? Or are you just going to get the, you're going to let that motivate you? You're going, to, you're going to allow that to change your life forever because you know your worth. You know who you are as a man. You're not a doormat. You know you're not a doormat. Some people, they might be. Some men 
might be that. That ain't you. But anyways, guys, you guys know what you have to do. You should know what to do naturally. I knew what to do naturally. I didn't have to get answers from anybody else to fully know what happened. And when things happen, bro, like it woke me up. It woke me up and people will show you your worth through how people treat you. If you don't feel respected, if you feel disrespected, bro, like you're gonna know that I'm worth more than this. I deserve better than what is in front of me right now. What is this? I don't deserve this. I know I don't and I'm not stupid. This is BS. This ain't good. And what's around me should be far better. That's how it works, folks. It's this awakening. Ding, the light bulb turns on. That's how it goes. But anyways, guys, that is the end of this one. I wish you all the best in your journey. And we'll be back with more content. With that being said, God willing, God bless. We'll see you all at the top.